station of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And welcome to Championship Game Weekend, where we will be live in some way or some form every day between now and next Thursday. That's what happens when you only get two hours sleep. You have to cancel broadcast because you're not awake enough to do it. So today, it's the Giants and the Phillies from... Shy Park in Philadelphia, second and third place in the National League in our 1949 replay. Tomorrow night at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, will be our NFL championship preplay between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers using Pro Strategy Football 2021. Sunday, the return of our 88-89 Montreal Canadiens hockey replay. I think they're playing Edmonton, and I think it's my birthday. Da 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 You say it's my birthday. Well, yes, it is. From November, I think, from November 26, 1988. Then Monday, a baseball special for you, a doubleheader, 4 Pacific, 7 Eastern, as this replay hits Memorial Day. It'll be the Brooklyn Dodgers and these New York Giants from the Polo Grounds. A true, honest-to-goodness doubleheader, no split admission, no nothing, just that. And then a regular Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday baseball broadcast. So lots of baseball coming up for you, along with some football and the return of hockey. But let's get right to the order of business today. The Phillies are 24 and 15, and they are flying high in the National League. Them, the New York Giants, and the St. Louis Cardinals are all within the game of each other. The Giants are 22 and 15, and going with Larry Jansen. And right behind those three are the Dodgers. And the Boston Braves. So right now, as you look at maybe the standings seriously for the first time, it is a five-team race in the National League. So hopefully enjoying some lunch on this holiday weekend for you. And so let's get to it next right here on Retro Sports Network. As Retro Sports Network presents Major League Baseball Replay 1949 from Shy Park in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It is Hank Bowery in the Philadelphia Phillies versus Jansen and the New York Giants. And today's game is brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, or wherever else fine podcasts are listed. Yep, before the Arctic here, and I don't know why I'm not showing up. There we go. Football's 8 o'clock tomorrow night. In prime time. You're going to get bitter cold. My friends in western New York are going to get dumped on because of that. Of all the goodness from Lake Erie. So, a day late and a dollar short, Hank Bowery. Takes the hill. Hank, former Cubs pitcher, is 5-0 on the year. This is his seventh start. He's 33, and that fastball tops out at 83. And he is a fly ball pitcher, and he threw a no-hitter against these Giants. Wow, on April 25th. So the last time they faced him, there was a no-hitter. His last start was against the Cubs on May 21st, eight and two-thirds innings. 11 hits, 6 runs all earned, he walked 3 and struck out 2. So overall, 47 in the 3rd innings, 31 hits, he's 5-0 and with a 2.66 ERA. 15 runs, 14 earned, 3 homers, he walked 7 and struck out 11. And the nose really itches. Whitey Lockman will lead off for the Giants. Jack Lorkey at short will bat 2nd. Oh, it's Tad. Tad, I'm glad to hear that you enjoy the game. Bobby Thompson, no P in center field, will bat, will bat third. Marshall is in right. He'll clean up. Gordon, Sid is at third. He'll bat fifth. Walker Cooper behind the plate will bat sixth. Johnny Mai slides to seven in the lineup. He'll play first base. Bill Rigney is at second. He'll go eighth. And Jansen, who should throw 135 pitches, will bat ninth. That's Del Ennis in left field. He has an arm of a seven. We'll tell you his range in a moment. Richie Ashburn is a ten and an eight in center. Mr. Nicholson is a five. I forget what his arm is. 
in right field. Puddinghead Jones is a nine at third. Granville Hamner is a five at short. Miller is a five at second. Eddie, I want to say Wakus, but someone will correct me on that, is a five at first. And Andy Semenik is behind the plate. He's a six and a nine. And Mr. Bowery is a seven with a 1,000 fielding percentage. Whitey steps in with a nine-game hitting streak. 277, six homers, and 19 RBI. And hopefully wherever you are is warm and safe and dry. Ricky says Bowery and Wakis. Okay. We're both in the same trade from Chicago to Philly before the 49 season. And that was a big one for that Philly team, let me tell you. So we're ready. Happy Friday. Lockman hits a base hit into left center field. He's going for two when he's in there. His sixth double of the year. Ennis, by the way, is a six and a six. And Nicholson has an eight arm. Jack Lorkey at 321, four homers and 13 RBI. So football tomorrow night, 8 Eastern. We're, we're pre-playing some game on Sunday afternoon or Sunday night. Hockey for you Sunday afternoon. Then there's baseball doubleheader for you Monday in the regular Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday broadcast. Pitch to Lorkey, ball four. So Lowry, his 12th walk of the year, and Lorkey on first for Bobby Thompson. 327, eight homers and 40. RBI. Phil's at 24 and 15. The Giants at 22 and 15. In the right center field, Ashburn will track that down. Lockman will tag, go to third. So runners on the corners and one out for Willard Marshall. Great color shot. 379. Two homers and 19 RBI. Pitch to Willard. Fly ball. Infield flies him at. No, it's a shallow fly ball to center. Ashburn's there. Lockman will hold. And there's two out for Sid Gordon. Sid at 297. 11 homers already. Including one last night. And 31 RBI. Sid hits a base in the right center field. Lockman will score. Lorkey goes to third. He's going to try for a home. Nicholson has it off the wall. They're going to throw. Miller's throw to the plate. To Semenik is in time. They got him. So how about that? It goes on the card. 9-4-2. And the side is retired. The Giants get a run on the double, though. And two hits and no errors. We go to the bottom of the first. It'll be one nothing Giants. Noon time on Sunday. Noon Eastern. And thanks for the sub, Mr. Forsberg. He asks what time for the hockey game. So, noon Eastern. Larry Jansen making his ninth start. Larry is 6-2 and two with a 3-9-3 ERA. His last appearance, or start, was against the Cardinals on the 22nd. Five and two-thirds innings. It was Christmas treat. Eight hits, six runs all earned. He walked two, he struck out two. 66 and a third inning, 69 hits. 30 runs, 29 earned. 17 walks, 27 strikeouts. He's 28 years old. A fastball pitcher, 85, and a fly ball plus pitcher. So they're buzzing after that play at the plate. Mr. Hamner will lead it off at short. And I'm told that he hated being called Granny, so we won't do that. Richie Ashburn will bat second and play center field. Richie, for most of his career, led off. Eddie Wakis at first will bat third. Del Ennis cleans up and left. Andy Semenik behind the plate will go fifth. Nicholson, who made the start of that play at the plate, is in right. He'll go sixth. Puddinhead Jones at third will bat seventh. Miller will bat second or bat eighth and play second. And Bowery, who threw 19 pitches in the first, will bat ninth. Defensively for the Giants, Lockman with a four arm and left. Bobby Thompson a nine and a six in center. Willard Marshall is an eight and right. We'll get to the arm in a moment. Gordon a four at third. 
Lorky a three at short. These are hard to read. Billy Rigney is a three at second. Johnny Mize a six at first. Cooper, a five and a five behind the plate, and Jansen can field his position. He's an eight with a 986 fielding percentage. Hamner at 256. No homers, six doubles and 10 RBI. One nothing Giants, bottom of the first. Pitch to Hamner is into right. Marshall, who's an eight and a nine out there, makes the catch one out. Was that an obscure Walton's re reference? Nope. I have no idea what you're talking about, so it certainly was not. Here's Ashburn. Richie at 240, two triples and 17 RBI. Lockman's a 7 and a 4. That's in the right field for a base hit, and Ashburn's on with a single. First hit. Earl Hamner. Nope. Wrote the Waltons. Yeah, Ricky, it is weird to see Rick, uh, Richie not hitting leadoff. There's a tongue twister for you. Nope. Our Hamner's name is Granville. Eddie Wakis at 297, two homers and 13 RBI. And again, we do go with exact lineup, so that's what Eddie Sawyer, who was the manager of the Phillies, had on the field that day. Throw to first, Whitey back. So the Giants got a run in the first and should have had two, but had a runner thrown out trying to score. Into right field, Marshall going back. There's a line drive, and that's an out. So two out. Beautiful day here, in, or night, yeah, day in Philadelphia. Saturday, May 28th, Mark, because you always ask that. 72 degrees. And right to left wind at one. And I just drew a blank on the woman that page that played Grandma Walton. Oh, lovingly called Granny. Nope, this would have been, well, in stage terms after the Waltons, but well, well before. Tony Carson interviewed her one night. Ellen Corby, I believe her name was. And a delightfully shy woman. And... She and Johnny did quite well that night. Ennis at 257, six homers and 30 RBI. Pitch to Dell is a base hit in the left field. Lockman will pick it up. Ashburn moves to third. So two out runners on the corners for Andy Semenik. Andy at 282. He's got 10 homers and 78 at bats and 21 RBI. It's popped up. Lorty should get it on the grass, and that will retire the side. Phils can't score. They leave two on. No runs, two hits, no errors. After one on Friday, one nothing Giants. So Walker Cooper, who looks like a catcher. Johnny Mize and Bill Rigney to face Bowery here in the second. And for those who aren't on the Digital Dice Facebook group, someone only had two hours sleep Wednesday night. And was in no mood to do an hour Thursday at lunch or breakfast, depending on in the country you are. So it got pushed back to today. Cooper at 158, two homers and 12 RBI. Cooper in the left. Jones with a snare, one out. Brings up Johnny Mize at 306. Eight homers and 30 RBI. Bowery, ground ball to second. Miller, two out. So as we said in the open, at the moment we have a five-team race in the National League. Cardinals, Giants, and Phils in that top bubble with the Dodgers and Braves just kind of percolating under. In the American League, don't get me started. Bill Rigney at 342. Three homers and 15 RBI. In the center field, Ashburn should snare that. Two out. Or three out. Now will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. The Giants go in order. Inning and a half in the books. One, nothing New York. 
So Nicholson, Jones, and Miller to face Jansen. Nicholson at 257, four homers and 16 RBI. I fear that the American League will not be much of a race. It's only a matter of time before the Yankees get Joe DiMaggio for the season. And I, I just don't think Washington, Detroit, and Philadelphia can keep up. And the Red Sox, well, you know, it's a Ron replay. So the Red Sox have already moved to Montreal. I, I do think the Yankees will win that easily at this point. But I thought the Pirates were going to win that 78 National League division easily too. 10-game lead at Memorial Day. And, of course, it was the Dodgers and Phillies in the NLCS. Pitch to Nicholson. There's a ground ball base hit. So the third hit for the Phils. And that brings up Willie Jones. 239, six homers, and 31 RBI. If we ever do get Dave Cook on the podcast, I'm going to have to ask why he hates the Red Sox so much. Now, it's early in the season. We're about a quarter of the way through, and Boston could catch fire. But just like in 78, it's just not looking real promising for the, the Red Stockings. Liner to third, Gordon's there. One out. Here's Eddie Miller. 278, a homer and 14 RBI. I can't get a real good read on the National League. The algorithm needs to be made more red and certainly less pinstripey. I would agree with that. Ricky will correct that in two seconds. Nothing wrong with England being overpowered, Lorenzo. Heitert Angels is our latest follower, by the way. He is number 165 on the channel. Math isn't biased, though. The Red Sox are a hard team to get right. I'm all for Red Yankee Red Sox races, Ricky says. No correction needed. The developers are human after all. Well, they don't discriminate against your Dodgers, do they? It's our third baseball replay, and the Dodgers... Have made one L NLCS and won one World Series. Miller into right field. That's going to go all the way to the wall. He's going to have a double. Nicholson will hold it third. Thompson got a late jump. Or so are the Red Sox in these years, too. So here's Bowery. He can hit 333, 5 for 15, three doubles and two RBI. Jansen will deal. Ground ball to Rigney. Nicholson should score. And the Giants take the shore out at first, and we're tied at one. So here's Hamner. Granny O for one. Larry Jansen through nine batters, an inning and two thirds, 30 pitches, four hits. In an earned run, and whatever makes Lorenzo sleep at night. Every engine is going to give you some surprises. And to be fair to Lorenzo, the Dodgers were, what, a half came out in 82, won the division in 78, and won the National League in real life in 49. You do expect them to do well. We'll see. It's a long season. Pitch to Hamner, runner on third, in the left field, and foul. So somebody from Wilmington, Delaware made that catch. Count is two balls and two strikes. Two outs, bottom to second now, and a 1-1 one -one tie. There's a base hit. The Phillies go ahead. Hamner's on with a single. Miller will score, and it's 2-1. to one. So Ashburn, one for one. There's a slow roller to Jansen, or past Jansen. Lorkey throws. Jansen probably should have had that, but Lorkey makes the play anyway. Wow. He didn't touch it, and that got caught on the grass. Lorkey had to go in to throw it, and they barely got him. Two runs, three hits for the Phils, though. After two, they leave a runner on and lead the game 2-1. to one. 
So Larry Jansen at 217, no homers and one RBI. I think teams that are not pitching rich but have a wealth of hitting tend to struggle. And that certainly qualifies as the Red Sox. Pitch to Jansen. There's a slow bounder to Wakeus. One out. Whitey Lockman doubled his first time up and scored the run in the first. Popped up. Right center. Two out. Bowery threw his first 10. 37 pitches. Two and two thirds innings. Two hits and a walk. And the run is earned. Lorky threw a walk his first time up. Was thrown out at the plate. Base hit left side. So the third hit for the Gentle Giants. Brings up Mr. Thompson who's 0 for 1. So baseball for you next Monday night, 4 Pacific, 7 Eastern. Memorial Day doubleheader from the Polo Grounds as the Dodgers and the Giants play 2. Pitch to Thompson. Popped up. A right side, Miller running into foul territory, and he's got it. No runs, one hit, and no errors. We go to the bottom of the third here at Shy Park, 2-1 to one Phillies. So here are the standings. St. Louis has won seven straight. Philadelphia a half game back. The Giants have lost five straight, but they still have the best run differential in the National League. Then Brooklyn, Boston, Pittsburgh, Chicago, and the Reds. Then the American League, the Yankees are a half game up on Washington. The Yankees are playing 667 baseball, but they're only a 500 team on the road. The Senators are singing, you got to have heart. The A's are three and a half back. Cleveland, five back. The Tigers, seven back. The Red Sox have moved to Montreal. And they've played an even amount of games now, both at Fenway and on the road. And Chicago and St. Louis are fighting for the football Cardinals. Wait, Kiss is 0 for 1. Got him. A 2-2 on the inside corner, and that's the first strikeout for Jansen. Jansen, I mean, normally you would mention this most years, only walked 62 in 259 and two-thirds innings. In 1949, that's pinpoint control. He struck out 113. Ennis singled his first time up. Five hits for the Phils, three for the Giants. In the right or left center field, Thompson. Two out for Seminick, who's 0 for 1. And when we talk about holiday doubleheaders, I believe everybody has a doubleheader on Memorial Day, and everybody has a doubleheader on the 4th of July. Seminick in the left field, Lockman, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the 4th, 2 to 1, Philadelphia. So Marshall, Gordon, and Cooper to face Bowery here in the fourth. So, since I know we won't see some of you come tomorrow night for the football game, what's your thinking for Sunday, everybody? Marshall's 0 for 1. In the right field, Nicholson, way back there against the fence, one out. Yeah, the Yankees and Red Sox almost did trade DiMaggio for Williams. I wonder where they would have played Joey D. But the Red Sox wanted Ibera. Damn Skippy. And it didn't happen. Lorenzo says Kansas City. Mr. Keeler says Tampa Bay. Or Tampa Bay. Haha, <laughs> I got that. Here's Gordon. Gordon doubled and drove home Lockman in the first. 
Line drive to Hamner. Leaps and makes the catch. Two out. Walker Cooper, who's 0 for 1. So I looked this up. A Michigan man thinks that KC will repeat. Being Tom Brady's 10th Super Bowl. And all he has to do is take a snap to make it 10 on Sunday. He himself will have been in more Super Bowl games than 31 of the 32 teams in the NFL. Imagine that. Pitch to Cooper. Here's a liner up the middle, a base hit. So a two-out single for Mize, who's 0 for 1. There are a number of teams that have played in eight. Pittsburgh, I think San Francisco, maybe Dallas. But he's this will be his 10th. An absolutely amazing stat. You can come up with a smart remark, as long as you behave yourself. Lorenzo says, who knew Smarmy could take you that far? Hey, Smarmy's got a whole bunch of rings. Pitch to Mize. Ball four. So runners on first and second. Bowery snaps the ball back after a 3-0 is way outside low. Here's Rigney. He's 0 for 1. Cooper on second. Mize on first. Ball four. So Bowery has lost control here. That's his third walk. That the good news is, if you're a Phillies fan, is that here's the pitcher. And New England's played in 12. But again, that's the only one that Brady's played in 10 of those. Tribe Fan says, it's the team who scores the most at the end of the game where those that don't watch and use their time wisely. I might be in the latter half. Oh. <laughs> Pitch to Jansen. Bases loaded into left center field. Ashburn should track that down, and he does. So they leave him loaded. No runs a hit. The walks don't matter. After three and a half, two to one fills. It'll be Nicholson, Jones, and Miller to face Jansen here in the bottom of the fourth. I'm going with Kansas City, and I think they're going to win it rather easily, to be honest. They have so many weapons, and Brady did his best to give that game away in Green Bay. I mean, the first half, Tampa was incredible. So I'm going with Kansas City. Uh, just too many weapons. Just too many weapons. Nicholson, single and scored his first time up. Plops out one in the left center field. He's going to be two for two. Here's Jones. He's 0 for 1. Six hit for the Phils here in the bottom of the fourth. Ground ball to first. Mize takes it to the bag himself. One out. Nicholson moves up to second. So it brings up Eddie Miller. Miller doubled and scored in the second. Now, Red Sox fan used Pro Strategy Football, and I believe in his replay it was 34 33 Kansas City. I mean, Tampa. So I'm sure that most of your favorite streaming channels will have some sort of pre play, but that's what we're going to do tomorrow. And that's 5 Eastern, 8, or 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern. Pitch to Miller. There's a liner to Lorkey. Makes a great play. So two out for Bowery. 0 for 1. He's got himself an RBI. The, the pitch. Base hit left field. Nicholson around third. They're going to run on Lockman. The throw to the plate. No, sir. 3 to 1. 
Cooper was able to get on the tag, but Nicholson had already beaten up a cloud of dust. And so the Phillies go up 3-1. to one. And here's Hamner. Jansen is first 18, 65 pitches. Three and two-thirds innings, seven hits, and a strikeout. And then all the runs are earned. I will do my best. I may not remember that, but I will do my best. Hamner, one for two. He singled and drove in a run. Bowery on first. Line drive to Rigney, and Eleanor makes the catch. One run, two hits, and no errors. We go to the fifth. Now, three to one, Philadelphia. So Lockman, look at the wrong side, right side run. Warkey and Thompson to face Bowery here. Bowery got away with being wobbly in the top of the fourth. Hank, 66 pitches, 18 batters, four innings. Four hits and three walks, the one run is earned. And Whitey doubled and scored to start the game. This time around in the right field, Nicholson, one out. Brings up Lorkey. Jack has single and a walk. He's one for one. In the right field, Nicholson, two out. Brings up Mr. Thompson as 0 for 2. Both pitchers kind of cruising along for a CG. Pitch to Thompson. In the left field. Back goes Ennis to the base of the track, and that will retire the side. So before we go to the commercial, for those of you non-subs, the Chefs are 3.5-point favorites, and the over-under is 57. I would still take Kansas City, and I like the over, personally. But we'll see. The Chiefs beat them in the regular season 27-24, I believe, in Tampa. 57's a lot. Anyway, we'll be right back. Okay, in case you join us late, here's how we got here. Giants put one up on the board in the top of the first. Sid Gordon doubled home Whitey Lockman to make it one nothing. Whitey, by the way, sitting on a 10-game hitting streak. In the second, the Phils took the lead. Hank Bowery with a fielder's choice to make it 1-1. And then Granville Hammer singled home Miller to make it 2-1 Philly. Giants threatened and could not score in the fourth. Philly took a 3-1 lead. On a Bowery RBI, so the pitcher has two RBI. Not too shabby. Jansen, four innings, seven hits. Three runs all earned in the strikeout. Bowery, five innings, four hits. A run it was earned, and he walked three so far. Yeah, there's no question in my mind, Lorenzo. As he says, the Bucks won six straight after that loss. You got a hand to Brady. That kid knows how to win. I certainly think he's probably the best ever to play the quarterback position in the NFL. You don't go to as many championships as he has without something. And the fact that he did it without Belichick and the Patriots didn't even make the playoffs says a lot about Tom Brady. Richie Ashburn is one for two. I can see the cards and letters coming now. Got himself a single earlier. Chopper to Lorkey in the hole over to first. For the out. I'm sure for some of you, it may have been Otto Graham. Unitas certainly can, Johnny Unitas certainly could make a case for that. Bart Starr, Terry Bradshaw. I was always a big proponent of Joe Montana, but it's hard, you know, I think the only one that has a championship re resume of Brady is Otto Graham, personally. Weakest is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And, of course, Otto Graham is a name that is not ever talked about on a Fortnite Street. Yep. Mark, 
I long for a Michigan quarterback that can go 20 and 5 as a starter. Got him. He swings and misses at an 85 mile an hour fastball. San Mateo for Brady, right? Mr. Ennis is one for two. With a single. In the left field, Lockman will track that one down. And that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, and no errors. We go to the six. It's still a three to one Phillies. Having gone to Sierra San Mateo. I was right. Wow. I was just a guess. A team that I have watched. Willard Marshall, Sid Gordon, and Walker Cooper here in the sixth. Willard is 0 for 2. So where do they play the California State Football Playoffs, Lorenzo? I imagine that's all regional. Pitch to Marshall is a fly, a pop-up, left right side. Mess up twice here, Rod. Miller makes the catch. One out. Here's Sid Gordon. He has doubled and driven in a run. One for two. That was 32 RBI on the year. In the left field. Ennis going back there. And that is gone. That is down the line and left. And Gordon has made this a one-run game. That's his 12th of the year. Bowery paces the mound. Here's the replay. 341 feet. And we got ourselves a good one here at Shy Park. Walker Cooper is one for two with a single. Oh, okay, mostly regional, as it'd have to be. But the actual finals have been played in Carson in the southern section in Sacramento when they're held in the north. Okay. California, and I can't imagine that they would because it's so big, does not have a long history of comprehensive state playoffs. Pitch to Cooper. There's a base hit in the left field. Ennis will pick it up, so the tying run is on. One out for Mize, who is 0 for 1 with a walk. Bowery delivers. Line drive to Wakis at first. The second for one, back to first, and that's a double play. He backhanded a sharp grounder, threw it over to second for one. The shortstop, Hamner, threw it right back to first, and it's a 3-6-3 double play. The Giants get a run on two hits and don't leave anybody on. After five and a half, it's now 3-2. When Brady was introduced, they said, you are the 12th string quarterback. Well, they in Michigan had, well, Brian Greasy, who won a national championship, And Chad Henney and Tom Brady. Yep. Texas, Lorenzo says, has a very sophisticated... And Drew Henson, too. That's right, Ricky. Texas is a very sophisticated statewide playoff system, but you have to remember they're roughly half the population of California. And, of course, football is king in Texas. And for years... They played those games at Texas Stadium. Semenik is over two. In the shallow right center, Thompson rides a Schwinn, one out. Here's Nicholson. Bill is single twice. Two runs, six hits, no errors for the Giants. They've left five on. The Phils, three runs, seven hits, and no errors, and they've left on four. Here's Nicholson. There's a fly ball to center. Thompson, two out. Willie Jones, putting head is 0 for 2. Right back to Jansen, over to first, and that will retire the side. So the fills go down in order. No runs, no hits, and no errors. We go to the 7 3 2, Philadelphia. So Rigney, Jansen, and Lockman. They face Bowery here in the seventh. Bill is 0 for 1 with a walk. And he puts that one right up the middle. Bowery snags it, throws it to first for the out. So one out for Jansen, who's 0 for 2. 
He's only thrown 83 pitches through six. Bowery at 88. Jansen popped up. Foul territory. Right side. Wakus in the stands. Somebody from South Philadelphia, born and raised, made that catch. And the count is two and two. Pitch to Jansen. Ground ball to Hamner. Over to first, and that will retire the side. Nope, two out. Boo. Here's Lockman. Whitey, one for three with a double and a run scored. Bowery, 93 pitches. Six and two thirds inning, six hits, a homer. That was to Gordon, and he's walked three. Ironically, Texas fares poorly against the California teams when they dare lead the safety of their own backyard and play in Cali. The southern section in Cali has more talent than any area and is acknowledged best league in America is the Trinity League in Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of a lot of kids that play football, I'm sure their soccer teams are pretty good as well. Pitch to Lockman is a liner in the left field. That's going to get past Ennis. Lockman is going to go for three. The throw to Jones. No, sir. He's in there with a triple. So the tying run is on. Two out for Lorkey. Who's one for two with a walk. A single. Or anything that moves up the runner 90 ties the game. And this will be a tie game. That's in the right center field. That's a base hit. So the Giants have tied this at three. Now here's Bobby Thompson. Who is 0 for 3. Bowery. Do up second in the bottom of the inning. But pitch count wise he's pretty good. If you missed it in the open. Bowery no hit the Giants in April. Thompson into left field. Ennis has it to retire the side. Stretch time, 3-3. So we go to the bottom of the seventh. Giants have tied the ball game on a run and two hits here. It'll be Miller, Bowery, and Hamner to face Jansen. Eddie has doubled and scored. He's one for two. And he sends this one into right center field. That's extra bases. The throw to Lorkey is not in time. Thompson has a decent arm, but Miller had that all the way. Both teams, three runs, eight hits, and no errors. It's symmetry. The Giants have left on six, and the Phillies four so far. Bowery in a position to bunt. He has two of the three RBI for the Phillies. He is one for two. Mize and Gordon come in. Here's the pitch. The bunt is down. Jansen throws to first. Rigney covers. And it's 1-4 on the sacrifice. So runner on third for Hamner. Granville 1-3. for three With an RBI. He's 11th. Jansen, 27 batters deep. 85 pitches, 6 in the third innings. 8 hits and 2 strikeouts. I forget the name of the umpire. Talking about, in a roundabout way, Mr. Hamner, who didn't like being called Granny. And so, when Sparky Anderson was a manager, one of the National League umpires always called him George, his given name. He said, because I don't like calling a 35-year-old man Sparky. Pitch to Hamner. There's a ground ball up the middle. Rigney with a tremendous stop. Miller will score. They'll take the sure out at first, and the Phillies go up 4-3. to three. So that brings up Ashburn. Richie is 1-3. for three. 
So the Phils take the lead back. Well, if you name yourself Sparky, I suppose that's not too bad. But would you ever want to be called Granny? My mother, a grandmother, is Mima. That's what she prefers to be. She doesn't even want to be called Granny. Pitch to Ashburn. Ball four. So the first walk for Jansen, two out. And that'll bring up Wakeus. Eddie is 0 for 3, has struck out twice. In fact, has been both of Larry Jansen's strikeout victims. In this left center field, Thompson will make a diving stop on against the wall to make the catch. And keep this a one-run game, an absolute web jam from Bobby Thompson. One run, one hit, and no errors. We go to the eighth, 4-3, Philadelphia. Yep, Sparky is indeed a god in Detroit. So Willard Marshall, Sid Gordon, and Walker Cooper to face Bowery here in the eighth. Hank trying to get six more outs and nurse a one-run lead. Marshall's 0 for 3. Ground ball to Bauer. No, pass Bowery. Hamner has it. He throws to first, and they got him. On a bang-banger, it went under the glove of Bowery, and Hamner had him backed up all the way. Yes, uh, and, and Lorenzo, I think, is dead right here. It connotes an aged, crotchety, monarch, decrepit state. In some circles, and I think most women would not want to be called Granny, that moniker. And I'm sure also the Beverly Hillbillies, you want to go out and scrape the vittles off the car for dinner? I don't think so. Here's Gordon, Sid is two for three, is doubled homered, and drove in two of the three giant runs. This time around, he hits it into left field, and it's going back there! Off the wall! So Sid's had himself a ball game. That's his 10th double of the year. He put that off the wise chip sign. And now bring up Walker Cooper, who was single twice. He's two for three. But after Din Din, I could take a dip in the cement pond. Only if Ellie Mae is coming with me. Not Jethro. And certainly not Granny. Pitch to Cooper. There's a ground ball deep in the hole. Hamner has it. Throws it to first. Gordon will hold at second. And there's two out for Johnny Mize, who's 0 for 2. Sure, whatever you said. He has walked and grinded into a double play. Bowery might get a complete game out of this. Pitch to Mize, runner goes into left field. Ennis will snare that one at the base of the wall, and that we, and that ends the inning. No runs, a hit, no errors. The Giants leave a runner on. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Philadelphia four, the Giants three. Ah, he's swearing at me, calling me a dirty old man. He's right, but yes. So Ennis, how about the chimp? I'm just going to say that the Beverly Hillbillies was not one of my favorite shows. Ennis, Semenik, and Nicholson to face Jansen here in the eighth. A word about Irene Ryan. A magnificent and marvelous Broadway player. And the college acting equivalent of the Heisman Trophy is named after her. So, the top college actor or actress wins the Irene Ryan Award. And Buddy Epson was a great dancer. He also was the original choice for the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz, but he was allergic to the silver body paint. And they went with, oh, someone will tell me. I had it in my head and it flew out. And this is one for three. Up the middle of base hit. He's going for two. The throw to Rigney. Not in time. 
Ray Bolger is who I'm thinking of. And so that's his, and it's his 11th double of the year. If Phils could use an insurance run, Semenik is 0 for 3. Nobody out, bottom of the eighth in the 4-3 ball game. Phillies lead. Cooper and Jansen have a word. Got him. He swings and misses at a 1-2 fastball. One out. That's his third. And that brings up Nicholson. Bill is single twice and scored twice. This time around, line drive to third. Gordon. Two out. So the Giants have Rigney, the pitcher spot, and Lockman in the ninth. As Bowery tries for a sixth win and a complete game. Willie Jones is 0 for 3. Jansen deals. Runner goes into left field. Lockman, and that will retire the side. No runs to hit the Philly strand of runner. We go to the ninth. 4 to 3, Philadelphia. So Rigney who is 0 for 2 with a watt. Jansen, who I imagine the Giants will pitch hit for. And Lockman, 1 to tie and 2 to go ahead. Rigney, 0 for 2 with a watt. Ground ball to third. Jones across the way, 1 out. So next baseball for you, Monday night, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Dodger fans are already counting on a doubleheader sweep. We'll see about that. Giants and Dodgers for you. Memorial Day, 1949. Larry Jansen. He's 0 for 3 if he stays in the game. We'll get cards and letters if they don't pinch hit. Bert Haas. So to play for the Phils. 214, 2 RBI. In the left center field. And it's going back to the elbow sign. Two out. A long run. And if your dog's hungry, the elbow will help with that. So the last chance to win is Whitey Lockman. Whitey has doubled and tripled. He's two for four with two runs scored. Pitch from Bowery. And there's a fly ball left center field. Ashburn rides the bike and wins the ball game. Yet 22,000 will watch the Super Bowl live. And good for the NFL for bringing in a lot of those essential workers. Final score here, 4-3 to three, Philadelphia. So Hank Bowery will get our Digital Dice MVP. He goes to 6-0. and oh. He goes 9 innings, 9 hits, 3 runs, all earned the home run to Gordon. And he walked three. He also drove in two. Larry Jansen falls to six and three. Eight innings, nine hits, four runs, all earned. He walked one and struck out three. No one was in danger of being fatigued. So a good one there. All right. The rest of the day in baseball. So at the moment, St. Louis and Philadelphia are tied. So as we play May 28th, we can tell you that the Yankees beat the A's 5-1. Vic Rashi goes to 4-3. Lou Brissy 3-2. Tommy Henrik, his 14th and 15th homers of the year, he drives in three. The Browns beat the Tigers 6-3. Papai 3-1. Gray falls to 4-3. And, and Jack Graham is 11th of the year. Cleveland beats Washington, uh, Chicago 5-2. Early win goes to 2-1. Scalia 3-4. Judson 0-1. The Senators have won 10 straight. They beat the Red Sox 6-2. Scarborough goes to 5-1. Jack Kramer falls to 2-3. The Dodgers beat the Braves 11-4. Don Newcomb strikes out 12 in 8 in the third innings. He goes to 2-0. They beat, beat Vern Bickford, who goes to 4-3. Bob Elliott, two homers, his 10th of the year. He drives in 4. Cubs beat the Reds 9-2. Dutch Leonard. Does not give up an earned run. He goes to four and three. Raffsensberger goes to three and five. Edwards, two for four with his fifth of the year and drives in four. And last but not least, the Pirates double the Cardinals in St. Louis, 12 to six. World goes to two and three. Staley, two and two. Basgall is first of the year. He drives in two. They did not have a... When did the Cy Young Awards start? 
right after the war. Anyway, standings, Philly by a half game over St. Louis, two over New York, three over Brooklyn, five over Boston. Um, American League, Yankees and Sens, half game apart, Philly four and a half back, Cleveland five and a half back. Now we don't need to go the rest of that. Again, Monday's doubleheader. It is Brooklyn and the Giants. Tuesday at lunch. Brooklyn and the Giants. I mean, St. Louis and Brooklyn. Boston, Cleveland, maybe. And St. Louis, Boston. So those, Cy Young started in 56. So that's what we got for you. The Dodgers and the Giants on Monday at 4 Pacific, 7 Eastern, right here. The Dodgers sweep you give five subs. Well, we're going to play fair anyway. Okay. So until then, we'll talk to you tomorrow night for a preview of the NFL championship game. So long, everybody.